So behind every thought is this power that we are, that is the power of God. And the more power you put behind the thought, the faster it will manifest and, you know, come to meet you in the physical world, so to speak. But yeah, just take control of your mind. Choose what thoughts to entertain. Don't let yourself be be prone to suggestions by other, discard that. Choose yourself what to entertain and what not, baby. I'm not saying it's easy, but it is simple. That's the message. Not easy, but simple. This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 6.19pm on the 18th. April 2018, documenting step number 42 from the book Steps to Knowledge and let's do it. Step number 42, it's a review, it's the review for week number 6 uh, and it's called Review. <laughs> quite, quite a mystery there. Um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, one long practice period. That's indefinite. I mean, how much it takes me. And uh, yeah, I kind of review each step, starting from step number 36, when we start week number six. And uh, from there, I like, for every stress, for every step, I write like a basic, a basic uh, statement of what what the step itself made me think about and what I think I learned and recognized from doing that specific step. So let's try to see that. So step number 36, uh, the first step of the week number six, my life is a mystery to explore. Here I was contemplating the meaning of the life that I feel called into living. I now strongly believe it is for the ever expanding and ever discovery of the infinite being that we are all part of and the enjoyment of that process. Uh, I mean, I think I put it pretty in, in pretty simple terms, in a certain sense, like it does make sense, but it holds so much more, I don't know, philosophy behind it. Like every fucking word here, like has its own meaning and we each attach our own subjective meaning to words. But from what I can, from the meanings I put into what I write, it makes sense for me. So, yeah. So there's an, all that is, is uh, infinite ever expanding being and we are a fractalized version of itself, knowing itself, more of who he is and more of who we are and we're not two but one. Bam. Step number, th number 37. There is a way to knowledge. To be able to experience life as the human physical creatures that we now perceive ourselves to be, we must first limit the infinite knowledge and wisdom that we naturally are. For the human bra brain cannot perceive all of it at once, but our mind is able to. The mind is anchored, anchored, I, I don't know if that's how you spell, but anchored, like an anchor from a ship, anchoring a ship to the sea, anchor. <laughs> the mind is anchored to the brain in our daily physical lives. But by stealing the brain, we can detach the mind from it and then perceive all. So basically, <laughs> basically, how do you put this shit basically? I don't know. I'm trying to, but 
probably that's the most basic thing I can come up with. I mean, basically we're now inside this living flesh body creature's body and a brain evolved to this capacity cannot hold what, what our deeper mind can hold. So it can only translate in terms of the physical senses and in terms of thoughts, but it cannot hold all of those thoughts all at once. It must give us the thoughts that we concentrate upon, the images, the feelings on the ideas that we concentrate upon, because if it's all at once, you don't understand shit. So by focusing on an idea, on something, then the mind beneath will transmit to the brain, which will then translate into physical senses and images, uh, imagination and emotions, uh, regarding the very thought that we entertain. So that's basically how it is, or how I see it. Now, step number 38. God knows the way to knowledge. God, all-encompassing awareness, is constantly guiding us towards the realization of our oneness with Him, be it through emotions, circumstances, or inner talk. We need only still ourselves and give the proper attention and importance to those ever-present guides. We always have hunches, we always have feels about certain things, but the way we have, um, we have been conditioned and we keep on conditioning ourselves is to negate those kind of hunches, those kinds of emotions, because they're just, they aren't, I mean, they, they don't make sense. So we, we're, we're in terms of, uh, of, of being rational about it, we don't have that. We just discard them, generally speaking. I don't, but people generally do. So yeah. <laughs> But there is a way. Step 39. The power of God is with me. The power of God is to call into existence the things that do not exist. Yeah. The things that do not exist refer to the things that we do not yet perceive with the physical senses but they indeed exist, be it in our thoughts or imagination. We are constantly using this infinite power, yet we are not aware of it most of the times. To think, imagine, wish for something and then make it real in your physical life is to successfully use the power of God, which is what we always use anyway, either for desired things, even for undesired things. It's the same power that we use, but using it unconsciously, we create unconsciously as well. So we do create that which we don't want because we don't know how to create it. So that's why we should all fucking recognize that power. Anyway, today I feel the power of God. Everything that you are, you experience, you will be and you will be experiencing has happened or will happen by the conscious or unconscious utilization of the power of God, as I said previously. When we become aware of that, we can certainly consciously feel the power of God, for, for we, we are always one with it. I, I mean, we are that very power in manifestation. So, uh, you know, being aware, you know, searching for yourself is actually searching for that power because you are that power. So once you find yourself, you know that you came out of that power and it's the very power that you are constantly using. 
Shit, that makes so much sense, baby. That's <sighs> nice. <laughs> Step number 41. I am not afraid of the power of God. The power of God is to manifest all thoughts that we entertain, depending on the degree of intensity with which we entertain the thoughts. Becoming aware of that, it can be quite scary at first, once we recognize the many unwanted thoughts that we entertain daily. But at the other extreme is the joy of knowing that you can create whatever life you wish to create for yourself by only mastering the control of direction of your own thoughts. So behind every thought is this power that we are that is the power of God. And the more power you put behind the thought, the faster it will manifest and you know, come to meet you in the physical world, so to speak. But yeah, just take control of your mind. Choose what thoughts to entertain. Don't let yourself be, be prone to suggestions by other. Discard that. Choose yourself what to entertain and what not, baby. I'm not saying it's easy, but it is simple. That's the message. Not easy, but simple. And step number 42, the given review. Uh, well, reviewing the whole week six made me understand how perfect each practice was according to my own experience and the ongoing physical events in my life. Ah, I just had a great idea actually. Instead of, uh, I will talk about that in a little bit, but maybe instead of like reading everything of the, of the little thing here, I always forget how the fuck that, that's called, but maybe I could better read it like this and then, you know, just switch, like read it off the computer and then look at the camera whenever I, yeah, that might be better. That might be a good improvement. You see, that's intuition, baby. <laughs> but yeah, actually, truly now, reviewing everything from the week number six and looking at my own physical experience and mental experience, which are intertwined, I can see how perfect the whole thing is. Like, I don't know, it makes so much sense and it certainly helped me to express what I'm going through. So uh, that that's a good thing, I guess. Baby, this has been step, on step number 42, goddamn. I today started uh, week number seven. First day I did one practice and I have to do the other one. I'll probably be registering the video tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, but I don't know. Hopefully you find all of that interested, interesting. I certainly do. I talk a lot about a lot of shit, but it makes sense to me. And you know, I, I yeah, doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that. This has been Ciprian G documenting step number 42 of the, the book Steps to Knowledge. And look out for more, I guess. Your choice, baby. Ciprian G is <laughs> out, baby. Damn. <laughs>